Hello and uh, welcome back, uh, and welcome back to another Belfast game. Like I said in a previous video, during these uh, missions to get to Exeter, I played a lot of Belfast, and since the ship is ridiculously good, there were a lot of really good games as well. And um, this particular game is actually my new Belfast damage record. I will be upfront and say, and uh, watching this game is not the most exciting. Because I mainly employ the tactic, find a good spot and stay there as long as you can. And uh, thanks to the Belfast having smoke uh, and uh, there being a really good position here for me, I end up st staying a long time at the same spot. Uh, just farming damage and uh, keeping the enemy team at bay. So it's not the most action-packed, uh, I will admit that, but in my opinion it is a really good example of uh, how we can uh, really own a game if you can utilize a strong position and your ship's strengths. So apart from this being the damage record, like I said, um, the reason why I want to showcase it is because I managed to utilize this position here at the island in a good way for a long, long time. Enemy force this position is good because um, it's obviously behind an island, but there is also the area just uh, or the edge, east edge of the island, which is low. Uh, so I can pass the island, smoke up, and then I have range uh, for most uh, ships in this area. I also have my radar in case uh, a DD pushes a bit further north. So it is all around a really good position. Uh, also, when my smoke runs out and I need to. Um, Back off, I have a island for cover. Of course, if the enemy team manages to push up, um, it's not as strong as this right now, but as long as we can maintain uh, our positions and keep the enemy team more or less where they are, I can stay here um, for as long as I have smokes, basically. I uh, start by uh, farming some damage on the Nelson, um, getting some pretty good uh, HE salvos off and with some additional fires, uh, it is uh, quite easy to just let uh, the damage tick up. And with the Nelson super heal it's also a really good ship to farm damage on since it can just heal right back up, uh, and then I can start all over again. In addition, uh, we have um, a York, Eoba, Colorado, a Duke of York here as well. We also see a smoke, which means that we have at least one destroyer. Actually, on the minimap we see there are two of them in the west, so uh, it is only one here. And there he is briefly spotted, the uh, guide. And I mean, as we see, I almost used my first smoke here, it just runs out. I managed to get uh, 50,000 damage out of that, so not too bad. Um, now here I do open up, even though I am... Uh, in the open enough to be spotted, and this will cost me a bit. 
as we see, we have uh, briefly five ships aiming at me, but uh, the major concern is the Jork that has pushed up. Um, I wasn't really expecting him to have gotten that far yet. Which means that uh, I thought I would be able to get by uh, with uh, staying at my position a bit longer and firing at the destroyer. But as my smoke gets ready again, I start moving forward, slow down and start firing. There are some shells incoming, but they are aimed at the ships behind me. And I can um, continue dealing with the battleships mainly, since they are really good at farming damage on. And the Colorado is nice enough to not really uh, move, so it's quite easy. Uh, we also see that over in the west uh, our team is doing fairly well. Even though they have lost uh, two ships. They are still maintaining the position at the E-line, uh, and I managed to finish off the Gator. And instead I move on to the Colorado. Now, uh, I do already have a fire on the Colorado, so maybe I should have switched to the Nelson, uh, tried to get some fire damage there as well, but uh, my main objective here uh, or what I was trying to achieve at least, was to get the Colorado killed. The Nelson is still a position where I can fire for him for quite some time, since he is uh, in a position where he can't really turn around easily and reversing will take uh, forever. So as the Colorado goes behind island, I go back to Nelson. And as we see again, I get uh, some really good uh, HE salvos uh, and uh, set him on fire. Smoke runs out and I am detected again. So instantly I start to reverse. Um, maybe I should have been do starting to do that before, but uh, I wanted to uh, get as many salvos off as I could. Uh, it does cost me a bit of HP, but uh, not uh, too bad. I managed to get uh, Colorado killed as well. He was quite low when I shot the uh, last salvo, so not uh, too impressive. But uh, a kill is a kill. And I have managed to do over 113,000 damage. And now as my smoke is ready again, all I have to do is start moving forward. And when I'm, I've cleared dialing enough, I can smoke up again and start uh, shooting at the ships here again. Nelson has moved out. Um, I smoke up and start uh, firing at him while I still can. Uh, Duke of York uh, is already in his base, uh, running away. Aoba is around, um, but currently behind an island, so it's... Uh, the Nelson that I can only really damage at this point. But it's easy enough and we can see the damage counter continuing to tick up. I think he is a bit tired of me so he tries to shoot me at smoke since I am sitting still. Um, and does hit me but mostly over pens. Meanwhile, I get my high caliber, um, and we see that this game is basically already won. The west side has uh, fallen, um, so our ships there have been able to push down. And here in the east side, we have had control for uh, basically the whole game. And uh, we have bided our time and slowly but surely 
thin them out and uh, now we can uh, really start to push and uh, head towards the remaining ships. Sadly both the Yoba and Nelson die um, and I don't have range for any of the remaining ships yet so I can only really start heading in that direction and uh, see if I have uh, enough time left in this game to get some more damage because so far I've only done uh, about 149,000 damage which is not bad but uh, not amazing either. New Mexico looks like he is um, stuck on an island or something. Uh, there are some uh, torps incoming. So I won't have too much time getting damaged, but uh, a few hits. And after that, it's only the Duke of York left. But still... Um, like I said in the beginning, I've stayed at the same position for a long time. Uh, almost enough to uh, use uh, free smokes. And it gave me a lot of damage and we managed to maintain the control and just sit and farm and uh, take them out slowly. Not too slowly though, because we're only 12 minutes into the game. Remaining is the Duke of York. Quite far out, but I managed to get some hits and a couple of fires. Which means that my damage will tick up now. Uh, seeing as he was basically full HP uh, when he was the only one left. It is uh, a good... Uh, Opportunity for me to farm some additional damage. And we see now that I passed 175 and uh, my fires are still going strong. Some torpedoes incoming, but uh, all nine of these miss, which is excellent news for me because it means uh, more HP for me to get rid of. Now, uh, I'm assuming that I'm the nearest ship he can see here, um, because he aims at me, and I make the mistake of uh, turning in and slowing down, which almost cost me my life, but I survive, and uh, we also managed to kill him. And uh, looking at the result screens, we see that I managed to get uh, just over 195,000 damage. And like I said, that is my new Belfast damage record. I'm a bit sad I couldn't reach 200, but uh, it's still a good result, so I'm quite pleased. Uh, sadly, only two kills. We will see later on that there's specifically one ship that I felt like I deserved a kill, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. But even so, some really good damage. 12 fires, uh, which is nice. Sadly, only high caliber. Obviously, didn't shoot at enough ships to get uh, Confederate, um, and not enough to get the Widower either. But even so, um, a really good damage game. Basic B wise. Um, we see that I have about 1,000 higher than the second best uh, on my team. Um, so even though 2.2 is not an uh, amazing result, uh, it's still good all things considered. We also see that the enemy team was kind of shit. The best only managed uh, about 700. And there's only one on my team that was uh, worse than that, so really... Uh, Bad performance by the enemy team. Damage. Um, 45,000 only in fires. Uh, but 150 from my HE shells. 
didn't fire a single AP1 because I didn't really have uh, any good opportunities. Kill the Colorado and the Gator, uh, and we'll see that I did pretty much 100,000 damage to the Nelson. So I really think I deserved uh, that kill, but uh, obviously it was not meant to be. But thanks to him, I got a lot of damage. So at least there's that. Uh, with that uh, final salvo on me, I almost died. Uh, so uh, I did uh, receive uh, 35,400 dam damage, which is basically all my HP. Very low potential because I was sitting in my smoke most of the game. And uh, just managed to farm damage. Not too much in terms of uh, credits and uh, XP, all things considered. But it's not really a major concern. Uh, instead, I'm just uh, happy with uh, the damage number. So uh, even though, like I said, this game were was perhaps not the most exciting game, I hope you still enjoyed it. And uh, Like I also said, it's a very good example of how uh, a good position can be utilized for a long time. If the stars align correctly. And this time they did, and I could sit where I was and farm uh, until the game basically ended. But that is uh, pretty much it. So, like I said, hope you enjoyed, and I will uh, see you next time.